Hello everyone, my name is Hema and I am an advisor at Unirelay. In our previous session, we talked about the importance of grades when applying to universities in Canada. In this session, we'll talk about the two English language proficiency tests, IELTS and TOEFL, and their role in the admissions process to Canadian universities. First, let's talk about the IELTS academic version. IELTS stands for the International English Language Testing System and evaluates the English proficiency of non-native English speakers. This test is extremely important as it not only helps in the college admissions process but also in the visa application process. The IELTS academic test has four components. Number one, listening. Number two, reading. Number three, writing. And number four, speaking. All components of this test are compulsory and the duration of the entire test is 2 hours and 45 minutes. Each section of this test is scored out of 9 points and the final score is calculated by averaging the scores of each section. The scores required by different universities vary. However, we at Unirelay recommend an overall score of at least 7.5 out of 9 for admission into most of the top universities in Canada. To know more about the IELTS and its centre locations, please visit the official IELTS website. Now let's talk about the TOEFL IBT. TOEFL stands for Test of English as a Foreign Language and IBT stands for Internet Based Test. Similar to IELTS, TOEFL has the following four sections. Number one, listening. Number two, reading. Number three, writing. And number four, speaking. All components of this test are compulsory and the duration of the test is four hours. Each section of this test is scored out of 30 points and the total score is calculated by adding the four individual section scores, making the test out of 120. Each university has its own specific TOEFL requirements. However, we at Unirelay recommend a score of at least 107 out of 120 for admission into the top Canadian universities. Universities in Canada may also accept other formats of TOEFL, so make sure you check the prerequisites with your chosen universities before taking the test. To know more about TOEFL and its centre locations, please visit the official TOEFL website. It is important to know that universities do not require you to take both IELTS and TOEFL. You need to submit your scores on one of these two tests only. We would recommend you to take the IELTS as it is more recognised by universities in Canada. Also make sure that you take the test within two years of your application submission since any test taken prior to two years of applying will not be eligible for consideration. We hope that you found this video helpful. In the next video, we'll be talking about standardized tests such as the SAT, ACT and the advanced placement exams. So please make sure to like, share and subscribe. If you happen to have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to know more about how to apply abroad, log on to www.unirely.com. Our counsellors on the website will give you everything you need to go ahead. See you next time.